Hey everyone, it's Mike Bond with Hard Money Mike. Today we're going to go over my favorite subject, hard money loans for new investors in 2023. As lending tightens up, as the Fed does their magic, it gets harder and harder for banks and some of the institutions out there to open up their doors to new investors. And that's what hard money does. It opens its doors for new investors, small investors, all those are trying to get in the game and make good money. The hard money is one of the most reliable sources out there because in good times, bad times, tightening, loosening, it's always there and it's always there for the new investor and the small investor. Today we're going to go over some of what it looks like, options, terms, things that you should know to make you successful in real estate investing. Entering the world of real estate investing can be both exciting and a little challenging for new investors. We wanna make sure it's as easy as possible. You get the right information so you can be successful in anything you do, including real estate investing. So let's start out, what are hard money loans? Hard money loans are short-term asset-based loans secured by real estate. These loans are typically provided by private investors, small companies, or individuals in the areas you're investing in. And what I mean areas you're investing in, the towns, the locations, the states. Typically you're gonna find that hard money lenders do not go out of their comfort zone, their geographical area that they live or work in. The main advantage of hard money is they provide quick real estate financing based mostly on the asset and not on your credit score. The hard money loans are mainly used for fix and flip and even the front end of the Burr project, but we can also see them for gap, land, some development, and even some construction. Now hard money is just one of the options for real estate investors. Let's go over the pros for hard money. The number one pro is speed, where other companies are taking two, three, or four weeks, banks, some of the Wall Street companies. Hard money typically is five to seven days once you're approved. If you wanna get the best deal, speed is critical in investing. It's not only speed with buying, but it's also speed with getting your money, your escrows out, getting you some money up front. So number two is getting you money up front for your escrows to start the projects. Most large companies, the Wall Street types, will not give you money up front to start the project. They want you to put the money in first. So a big positive for hard money is most of us give money up front. When you close, there's money to start the project. Number three is flexibility. If it's unique, if it's different, if you need someone to look at something that is out of the box, that's where hard money comes in. Next is higher financed amounts, meaning less money out of your pocket. If you find the right deal that has a good loan to value, most hard money lenders will lend up to 100% of the financing. Those numbers typically mean you're under 70 or maybe 65%. So the better the deal is, the higher the loan to value you're going to get. We mentioned this before, but it's also approvals are based mainly on the property itself and the exit strategy and the work that you're going to do to the property. So if you don't have the credit score, if you don't have the history, or you're in a unique area or have a unique property, that's where hard money comes in. Now, what are the negatives? You had the pros, now what are the cons? Typically what you're gonna find is on hard money, interest rates are about the same, but the points, the cost, are anywhere between one and one and a half percent, more than what you're gonna find on a Wall Street company. Now that's offset by hard money lenders closing faster, so you can maybe get a deal, a better price on a deal, or find a deal that someone else cannot close. Another one of the cons in hard money is shorter terms. Typically a hard money lender is a six to 12 month lender. So if you're looking for something that is longer than 12 months, you're going to maybe look for one of the Wall Street or a local bank. If you're looking for quick, it's hard money. If you're looking for something longer term, it is more the institutional lenders out there. One of the cons for hard money is also limited amount of money. Most of these, like I said before, are individuals, small companies or private institutions that are limited by the amount of money they they have to lend. So there isn't always money available. So you have to make sure you have a good connection with a hard money lender and make sure you're on their A-list so they're finding your deals prior before running out of money. So when do you use hard money? If you're new to real estate investing, it's used for fix and flips. Typically fix and flips with lower loan to values where you do not have either the credit score or the experience, or it's a smaller deal in a smaller community where it doesn't fit with one of the Wall Street type companies. You know, I've mentioned this before, but we're talking about Wall Street companies, we're talking about hard money. Just to clarify, we do hard money with Hard Money Mike, but we also have another company, the cash flow company, where we offer some of these Wall Street kind of products, DSCR, bridge loans, all of those kind of things. So if you're looking for something besides hard money, you can check out our channel, the cash flow company or the cashflowcompany.com. We started at hard money. We love hard money. We love working with real estate investors that are new or smaller investors who the big guys do not like. Our approach is human to human, working with someone, understanding what they want, where they want to go, 
actually having communication with people. That is our focus at Hard Money Mike. So back to where we were, what are they good for hard money? Land loans, maybe you're buying land, maybe you're gonna develop land, maybe you just want to hold land, but anytime you get a good deal on land or you're gonna develop it, hard money might be your source. Also, if you're doing a burr, if you need the front end of a burr and you wanna finance as much as possible so you do not have to do a cash out. Remember now, if you're refinancing into a long-term Fannie or Freddie loan, you have to wait a year before you could do a cash out loan. With a proper hard money loan, you could buy a rental property with the Burr method and possibly put not only the purchase, but all the rehab into the loan and be able to refinance out and be able to refinance out right away into a conforming loan. A hard money loan, working with a hard money lender gives you that option that other larger companies don't offer. One thing to understand is hard money is very segmented. It's, you know, we talked about individuals, we talked about small companies, just private investors in your areas. So it's a product that you actually have to call around, find out what are the terms, how reliable are the hard money lenders? How much money do they have to lend out? You need to find out exactly who's lending in your area, what they'll allow, what they won't allow. One thing you have to focus on is the terms. What does a hard money lender charge you? Typically, like I said, what you're going to find is similar interest rates within a quarter to half a point. No big deal there. The points instead of maybe one or one and a half on a you know, Wall Street kind of fix and flip or bridge loan, you're going to be maybe at two to three points on a hard money loan. Now remember the terms and conditions on these hard money loans are usually six to 12 months. They're usually interest only, so you're not paying any principal down. And they typically have little to no prepay, but you must shop around, you must look at it. We're gonna have a tool at the end here that'll help you shop around and get the best hard money loan in your area. The next thing for hard money lenders is finding a reliable lender that's gonna do what they say they're going to do because their reputation matters. Typically, hard money lenders in small markets will be one of the most reliable funding sources you could find. If they're not funding, they're not making money. It's not like a big company that could just go on to the next loan or the next client. Hard money lenders, small hard money lenders want to build a clientele, want to work with someone to build a great relationship. So to find them, make sure you're networking, make sure you're looking on sites like Connected Investor, Bigger Pockets. You're going to the meetups and the real estate clubs in your area. You're talking to realtors, you're talking to other people in the business, the wholesalers who will fund it for a first time person or even in rural areas. Those people will have the sources that you need because they're working with hard money lenders every day or at least every week. So remember, shop around, look around, talk to other people in the industry to make sure you get the best deal. A lot of times what you're going to find uncertain deals. Hard money is actually cheaper than some of the Wall Street or even banks in this current market because remember the Fed has increased the Fed funds which has increased what banks are charging. Now most banks are charging around 10% on interest rates. Large Wall Street companies are charging anywhere between 10.5 and 12%. A hard money lender in this market in 2023 is probably closer to 11%. So it's right in the market. Once again, shop around. Make sure there's not a bunch of junk fees put in there. Other things you should worry about like escrows. Escrows are being dispersed some at closing so you get the project going. They're not all being held back. If you have all the money, if you have all the experience, that's great. There's options for that too. Hard Money 2023, some final thoughts. Hard Money is a very important tool for you, especially if you're a new investor or a small investor or someone in a smaller town. But you have to shop around. You have to know exactly what you're getting into. That's why we're going to give you this tool. It's a free tool. It's below. Make sure you get referrals. You to make sure your Hard Money lender, just like any other lender, just like any bank, is reputable, meaning they're going to close. They can close and they have closed for other investors. Make sure you get approved and you know exactly what their terms are before you go out and start signing contracts. You don't want to get surprised at the end. Real estate investing is about not only finding good deals, but finding good money. Part of that good money is hard money because you could close quicker. You don't have a credit check and or you could just be a small investor without a lot of money into the projects. Hard money is something you should always keep in your toolbox even as you expand. Our goal here is to take you from starting out or being small and growing you into a large, a very profitable company where you can enjoy a very profitable life. Just remember, finance is more than half what you need to understand to become successful in real estate. Real estate is about using other people's money. You just want to make sure it's quick, easy, and fast, whatever you do. Hard money is part of that. Growing from hard money to private money to banking to just cash and lines of credit is also part of that. Make sure you use every one of these options correctly. As I mentioned before, we have another channel called The Cash Flow Company. We help you not only with hard money, but some of the private, the wall, Wall Street, the DSCRs, the traditional lending for real estate investors. Check us out there, but make sure you understand, use hard money and find the good lenders out there. To find the good lenders, we have a great tool below. It's called the Loan Cost Optimizer. It's free. Just click below and we'll see you on the next video.